All right, guys, so we have some information about Super Battle Road. It is currently live on the JP side of Dokkan Battle. Now, um, you're not going to be getting any gameplay for me. I don't have any really good teams to run. Uh, my Super Strength team is the best team that I have at this time in the game. Um, I have no dupes on anything except for maybe the Super Gogeta. So I literally cannot go and clear this event. I know I can't go and clear this event. Um, plus, uh, rendering time on that usually takes a little bit of time just because of the crappy computer that I have and rendering in 1080p is very difficult. Um, I could jump it down to 720 if I wanted to to speed up the time, but even then I would want to make sure I get this video out. Um, I didn't put out, put out the recording last night because I want to actually you know, go to bed. <laughs> so um, it's currently 11 a.m. Last night, my um, my actual rendering was occurring for the Boss Rush Super 3, Boss Rush 3 Super 3. Uh, that took about eight and a half hours, so that's another reason why I wasn't able to record anything last night. Regardless of that, um, Super Battle Road. Uh, the, this is a very difficult event. I watched uh, D Free's video about it, and I saw him going up against it. And man, let me tell you, I've, I've been scouring the Reddit. Uh, first off, there's a lot of mixed opinions on this. Personally, I'm happy about it. I'm a veteran player. I've been playing since the game launched on the global side. Um, the fact that they have uh, this difficult of uh, mission or, or, or type of uh, uh, mode, <laughs> I really enjoy it. It's not a grind fest like the World Tournament. It's not just a, oh, this is your optimal team, run it. This is a, hey, you need to really think about how you're going to take your team and what technique you're going to have to use, what strategy you're going to have to use to go up against it. I'm going to talk a little bit about that, um, but let's go ahead and go over everything here. First off, shout out to the Reddit, Zahal, and Koala San Z, because I'm going to go over both their information from this one post. So, first off, Battle Road is now live. Various missions for clearing the stages. Clearing all stages awards a total of 50 stones and 5 times LR Kid Gohan. So this is how you get the LR Kid Gohan. Now, this is what is behind clearing all of this. Now... The thing about this is you only have to clear each one once, technically, um, to get all the rewards. If As long as you clear each of these stages one time, you will be fine and you get everything from the rewards. I kind of feel like after that, what do you do? I know there's some mission rewards that you can get, but outside of those, like, what? what's the point after that? But anyway, um, I, I feel like it's just like any of the other Dokkan events. Once you clear it, then it's done. Unless they, like, revamp it, like, once every couple months, they put a new reward behind it. And the reward isn't too amazing. That other kid, Gohan, I did a full review on him already. He's not the best card in the game whatsoever. He's cool for to have as a collector, um, and he is, you know, he's cool as a uh, 77%, I think it's 70, yeah, 77% leader until you get to the 1,000 day. Uh, anyway, um, so 10 stages. Each requires a specific team type, such as Extreme, Super, etc. Depends on the type of stage, you must use opposite affiliation, Super Extreme, that has type advantage over the stage. Clearing the stage gives you one Dragon Stone, also gives you five in the missions. Clearing all Super Stages award 1 LR Kid Gohan. Clearing all Extreme Stages awards 1 LR Kid Gohan. Clearing all of the stages gives you 2 LR Kid Gohan. And clearing the event 20 times gives you a total of 1 more LR Gohan for a total of 5. So essentially that means clearing all Super Stages is 1. Extreme Stages is 1. Um, once you clear all of them, that's going to be 20 times. Because you need to clear each one, one extreme, one super of each attribute type. That's going to be 20. So that once you do all that, then yeah, then you get all your kick gohans. That way you get all the dupe pads unlocked. But anyway, um, this is a very difficult event. Thank you for Koalasan for letting us know the order. So if you're looking at your game right now, the order of who you need to utilize is Super Fizz, Extreme Fizz, Super Strength, Extreme Strength, Super Int, Extreme Int, Super Tech, Extreme Tech, Super Agility, Extreme Agility. So essentially it is the opposite of what you typically see um, when it comes to uh, attributes. So if you think about like Monday through Friday, literally Monday is the bottom and then it goes all the way up to the top. So Fridays would be the super fizz or the physical. Uh, anyway, so this is the order you're gonna have to go that you can go into when you're looking at what to build or what team you're gonna need to use. You can't use like uh, an extreme uh, Zamasu and Ro Super Rose on the Super Tech team as an LR lead. So that won't work. You can use them as an extreme tech lead if you wanted to though. Um, so each of these, yeah, let's see. Um, I'm just going over Koala Sun's information now. Each of these need to bring a mono team. Blah 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 blah. Yep, doesn't require doesn't require stamina, so you don't have to use Dragon Stone. You can't use a Dragon Stone to continue. It's open every single weekend. There's a note on the bottom saying that some enemies can be different each time you enter the stage, which is true. You the enemies do change up. Now, one thing I will state, um, which I saw in D Freeze video, and then I saw a post about it as well for Kramat Coster, whatever the hell. Um, <laughs> Krom, 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 
Chromicaster. I can't pronounce the name, so I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, bro. Uh, essentially, uh, what you do is you go after not the boss, you go after the subunits against the team because they have lower health, so you can attack them first. Now, the thing with this is, with this mode is, um, you're, you have attribute advantage when it comes to damage output. But each of them have a ridiculous amount of health. Uh, I mean, I, for D3, he said he estimated the boss to have about 5 million health from all the attacks that he gets off. It might be more. I didn't do the math on it to check it out. Um, but go after the subunits first because they're easier to kill. Now, you may have type advantage on them, right? But you do they hit you for neutral damage. So that means you don't have the type advantage defensively. So what does that mean? That means a normal attack can come in and hit you as if the same, like, tech, so, like, you're going up against a super tech, the same amount of damage as if another super tech was attacking you. So that's what that means. So they, they're going to hit you for neutral damage. You're not getting any damage reduction out of that. On top of that, their hits are hard. I saw a hit up in, in, in like, the 50 to 60 to 70,000 mark for a normal. A super attack can go up to 170,000 damage or more. So take that into consideration when you're trying to build your teams. Each team, you're going to want to do your best to try and get blockers. You want blockers here. This is That's the, one of the best ways you can win. Um, you're not going to want all blockers, obviously, but you're going to want some blockers in there, um, or counters, like someone like in terms of a super agility, like Vegito. Uh, if you have your super Vegito, you can throw him in there and hope that no one supers you. Um, or Super Saiyan 4 is one of the two Super Saiyan 4s that count, or three Super Saiyan 4s technically. Um, they all counter, but that's very difficult because it's only on super attacks. They do not tank that well against these attacks. I've seen it. It doesn't work that well. Um, you want your healing items, obviously. Um, and you're going up against, I think it's like four bosses per run. But each boss has a mul has multitude, and it goes harder but harder each time you go up against a new one. Uh, anyway, um, it's going to be very, very difficult. This whole event is freaking awesome. I'm excited for it. I'm sorry if any of you think that they're, you know, dicking over the free-to-play player base or the newer guys. Honestly, a lot of people have been complaining to Bandai that it's, the game's too easy. And yes, you can say, oh, you're a whale, you're a whale, blah. You know what? Oh, well. T too bad. Some of us do whale out in the game because we like playing and we want something to be, make it a little bit more challenging. So this is a, hey... Here you go. This is for the people who are veterans who have good accounts, or people who are just lucky. And this is something that other people can strive for. Plus, you know what I'm interested in seeing is Jay Fanta to see, because he does full free-to-play only. I want to see, when this comes out to the global side, how well he does um, against this event. Because that's going to be interesting. So, unless anyone else uh, has free-to-play, let me know in the comments below if anyone else has a full free-to-play team. That's going to be interesting. I'm really wishing that this was on the global side, because I would totally take this on. Um... Also, for some mission rewards, uh, 5 Dragon Stones, that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So you get one multi-sum <laughs> out of it, plus a treasure item when you beat it. Um, I think that treasure item, um, that's what you can exchange for um, Kai's or whatever it is. I, I don't, no one knows yet, because I, I haven't played it enough, or I haven't done it enough, or I haven't seen any posts about it, how many treasure items you get if you get one per clear. So I think that's how you're, you're going to purchase your uh, Grand Elder Kai, or your Grand Kai's. Uh, but we'll see. Let me know in the comments below if you know that. One treasure item can be exchanged for two Funky Kai's. So one, two, so that's what, that's 20 of them. Um, so if you have, tw uh, sorry, that's 10 of them. So if you do that 10, um, 10 times two, that's 20 Elder Kai's and you 10 of each type. Yeah, you're probably going to be able to get a treasure item per time, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah. Overall, this is a pretty cool mode. I really enjoy it. I really like, like the fact that they did this. It makes it challenging for all of us people who have been playing this game. We pretty much one-shot everything. You need to use strategy here. Uh, super excited about that. Uh, I will prob I'll see if I can do some gameplay. I know I'm not going to do that well against it because, uh, again, my teams are definitely not that optimal. One thing I want to say is I know some people have said bring a sealer. Sealers aren't necessarily the best option for you in terms of team building. And the reason behind that is because you're going up against multiple enemies. You cannot seal all your enemies. You might want to seal the boss. Um, I would recommend going for damage reduction on at least two types or two um, two of your primary units that you're going to be running. Um, either damage reduction or really high defense. Something like LR Piccolo for super intelligence, something like that. And like extreme intelligence is a good option. Would probably be Janemba to have on your team. You're going to want some healers like Buhan. Um, or Agility Weiss that may come in handy. We don't know yet. I don't, we, no one's really figured out a strategy since it's just dropped. Um, I will definitely keep you posted with team strategies. Um, I would definitely say, though, you would want at least one or two defenders, blockers, uh, on your team while you're running this. Uh, and then you're going to at least want one healer, plus your healing items as well. I don't know if damage reduction items would be a, a good idea. It depends on your team. 
Uh, but if you're going to be running a like 120 team or one of the category leaders, you might want to consider just doing all healing items across the board. That's like the Balma that I used and the Boss Rush and the Aider plus the Senzavine and the Dende. Just because you're going to have such enough amount of health that you'll be able to heal up and you won't have to worry about utilizing all those healing items. You might be able to get through a little bit better. Uh, but then again, you're also only going up against four enemies or four different bosses. Uh, technically, but each of them have multiple people you need to go up against. So anyway, that's that's your call. Let me know what your, what strategies you've used in, um, down below in the comments, and let me know if how successful you've been at this. Uh, again, I'm not going up against it on the JP side right now. Um, I'll probably try it. I, you know, it's just a beautiful day. I want to go out and enjoy the uh, outdoors today. So I'm gonna go out. Um, I might I might drop drop a, a game a little bit of a gameplay with my super strength team or my super agility team because those are my two best teams I have on the JP side. Plus, as you all know, I don't really play too much. So my in terms of like anything else, I do have Gogeta. So, but the thing is, I don't have anyone who's really good. I haven't even Doken Awake in my old school OG Ultimate Gohan, the intelligence one. So like that's where I'm kind of at with that. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about this. I'm really happy about this. You know. Uh, I'm sorry if you guys think that it's, uh, you know, not the best thing in the world on that band I shafted us, but I'm sorry, I, I, I really am happy for this mode, and I really cannot wait for it to drop to the global. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you all later.